hello this is day four of the 30 day short bus build and we're not building today we are going to head down the mountain and go get some mail and do some other errands that we need to do and the reasoning behind this decision is we're getting ready to do the ceiling in that bus and the lighting that I'm putting in this bus uses a specific track and we could make a jig for that size and do the ceiling around it. The only problem is if there's a problem, uh, like if the description on Amazon isn't correct and the ceiling's already installed, it could be a nightmare. So we're not going to risk it. We're just going to head down, go get the mail, get the track so we can build the ceiling around that light track and do some other shopping for some things that we need as well. Also, since I'm doing the smaller bed, I need to make a new bed frame, which means I don't have the lumber because I didn't buy lumber for a bed frame when we bought lumber. So we're headed down the mountain and gonna get some more material. We'll be back to building tomorrow. We just got down to Home Depot. We're it's all, chilly. <laughs> it's cold, we're all loaded up. And we're about to go to my uncle's and go grab some packages that are sitting over there. Ain't that right? That's right. That's the plan. That's the plan. All right, we forgot we needed to go to the P.O. box. Oh, so I did. Isaac lied to you. I lied to you. We're not going to my uncle's yet. Not yet. We're we'll going there next. Hand stamp. Hello everyone, it's day five of the 30 day short bus build. And as you can see, we have all this mail here. That So we went down yesterday, we got some supplies and mail. Uh, the goal was to have everything at the shop January 1st, but that didn't happen, as you can see. So the first thing we're gonna do this morning is go through all these boxes, get everything organized, stuff I need here, and then stuff I can put somewhere else to get out of the shop bay. And our goal today is to finish the clothes shelves over the bed, which are back there. 
Um, I want to I want to do the open shelving in the other half. So I want to get all the shelving done that's going up in the bus, and then I want to do the wood on the roof uh, or the ceiling. Somebody corrected me. I don't remember. So ba basically, get the entire upper sections of the bus done. So all the shelving, the ceiling, hang the light tracks, maybe even test the lights. That's the plan. If we can get that far today, we're gonna be great. So we're gonna go through this mail, and we're gonna do all the upper end of the bus. Let's see if we can get her done. We have ourselves another change of plans. <laughs> I was planning on doing two doors. So door there, door there. And then I had these like soft close hinge things. And then I was doing this one and I realized I don't have enough to do that last door. I don't really want to order more. So I think I'm just going to do one door. And then there'll just be two, two spaces for it. So. I'm gonna take some of these hinges off and then have one for there. So, you know, plans change sometimes. The end of day five, ladies and gentlemen. Let's show you what we got going on. Uh, we're doing half open shelves and then half half closed cabinets. So check it out. We got our open shelving up here, and we ended up having to put struts in these, which I'm glad that I just had some extra struts laying around because I thought these soft close hinges were gonna hold it up by itself. I was wrong. Uh, but yeah, leather drawer poles again, and we were hoping to put a ceiling in today, but that didn't quite happen. Check it out. But yeah, that's it. So I'm going to start cleaning up. That's the end of day five, and then tomorrow we're hoping we can get the ceiling in. So that's the goal. Let's, let's see if we can get her done. I got enough vehicles around here that I kind of need to make a point to start them all once in a while. Uh, so that's what we're getting ready to do. I'm going to go start all the buses laying around because that's one thing that could really make a vehicle go south is just not starting it, not driving it. Little tip for all you people building your bus all the time. 
trying to make a habit of starting it as often as you can and driving it as often as you can. I know a lot of people that spent a year or two building the bus in their mom's front yard, never started it, finish the build out, go to drive it, and it just won't start, obviously. Or they just have plagued with problems when they get on the road because, you know, a lot of those hoses and stuff are made to have pressure and stuff going through it. They don't get used, they crack, they break. Just always make start your stuff. What's up? Welcome to day six of the 30 day short bus build. We left off last night. We got uh, these overhead cabinets hold up. Let me adjust the light up in here. There we go, it's a little better. And today's mission is literally just to get the ceiling up. A lot of y'all are like, oh wow, he's doing a black ceiling? That's kind of dumb. Well, I'm not leaving it black. We've always had a plan for what we're gonna do with the ceiling. And by the end of today, hopefully, we will both see the ceiling done and the lighting that I'm putting in done. So that's the mission for the day. It could be hard or easy, I don't know, but that's why I'm not trying to ask for too much for today. Just the ceiling, let's get into it. Okay, everyone, we are going to divide and conquer. So Jaylena is going to keep doing the the wood on the ceiling, and then I'm going to start working on the light tracks. So, you know, that way we can both be doing something and getting two things done at one time. So I'm going to hop into the light tracks now. We've got, we didn't get the roof done today. This is the end of day six, uh, but we got enough of the roof in that you can kind of see how it's gonna look. Check this out. Oh, you see that? Wow. I'm pretty stoked about it. We were only gonna do two light tracks, but after, and we are in a lit shot bay, so this isn't, you know, giving us a very good idea. But I think I'm gonna add, I think I have enough material. I might add two more, two more tracks. Maybe right here. 
um, get some more light in here. Uh, so I might I might have to order some more some more LEDs, but it's basically just LED lights inside of an LED track. This is the end of day six. I love it. I think it looks great. I don't know. What do you guys think? Check that out. Bam. So we're gonna get back on it tomorrow, and hopefully we can get the roof done. I was thinking it would be easy to get the roof done today, but it wasn't. <laughs> Hello everyone and good morning slash afternoon. No, well, it's not afternoon yet. But this is day seven of the 30 day short bus build. And we left off last night. We didn't quite get the ceiling done, uh, but we're gonna, we're gonna get that wrapped up today. I've also decided I'm gonna add two more track lights. So there'll be a total of four lights on the roof. Um, today's Friday, the end of the work week. Again, we're trying to take the weekends off unless we get behind just so we're not like totally crushing ourselves. And the only goal for today is to finish the ceiling and build the bed frame. Not very big projects. Ceiling's already almost done. I've done a million bed frames. So should be really easy. We're trying to take it easy. That should be the end of today. And then I'm gonna edit this episode and get this ready to come out for Tuesday and then start filming again on Monday, blah, 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 blah. So, you know, if you're still here watching, I appreciate you being here on this channel. We're stoked to see this bus wrap up and get done. So we're gonna get into the work day now. Ceiling is all up. Jaylena is oiling it now, and I'm cleaning up the shop bay. I'm about to blow it up and get all the dust off the ground so I can start working on the new track lights. We're gonna have four track lights in the ceiling instead of two. Just, I don't know, it's gonna be a play off four windows and four lines of light. It's just more light inside, you can't have enough. So I'm gonna blow this out and start working on some track lights. All right, we are making two more LED light tracks. The thing I really like about this stuff is you can cut the track to any size you want, and then you can cut the, uh, see these cut lines on here? You can cut the LED light to any size you want. So you can really get some cool custom sizes and not build around you know, your lights. You can kind of build your lights into stuff, which is really cool. So that's what we're working on right now. Two more LED tracks, total of four lights up there. Huh, Jaylena? Uh-huh. Okay, so one of the tracks fell, and then I think it ripped the light. So now, so we're gonna pull that down. Luckily, I have another one laying around, and we're gonna just fix it right now. It's the end of the work day. We were trying to, <laughs> we're just gonna fix it right now. So it's just done. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the end of day seven and the end of episode two. And we got all of the uppers done. So we got all the trim, the wood trim. Um, we got the ceiling put up, call that a slat, slat ceiling. And then we got four track lights, kind of symbolize a four window. You know, just keep it in fours. I think it looks really rad. Like the, the cool thing about this bus 
is this is the exact same bus as Minion, which I'm going to build next, which is mine. So I'm kind of trying some things that I was thinking about doing in my own personal build. And so far, I'm really, really loving this slat ceiling. So I think I'm probably going to do this in the Minion bus. A lot of people just do tongue and groove. So let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about the slat ceiling and the track lights. I think it looks rad, but what do you guys think? Should I do it in my own bus next? That's gonna be the end of this one. So hope you guys are enjoying the 30 day build so far. And we're gonna start the bed frame and some of the lower stuff next week. Thank you guys for hanging out. And if you're new to the channel, consider uh, subscribing so you don't miss a build video or if you end up, you know, if you just like bus life stuff. So we'll see you in the next video. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen.